What is going on, everybody? Super Yankee for Life here once again, and you're going to be watching a 55 and 5 kill confirm match on the map Cargo. We're going to be using Grip, Select Fire, and Stock on the Foul OSW. Um, this is a gameplay that I had saved up on uh, in theater mode. Uh, I got this game back in January, so yeah, it's, this is it's, it's been a while since uh, I had this gameplay handy in, in my. Uh, almost a hard drive, what the hell, My, in theater mode, so, um, I figured, and, <laughs> of course, Hunter Killer couldn't save me there for, like, maybe two seconds there, and, and that guy was, now, I don't know what he was doing, he was camping on top of that crate, but, um, I just want to talk a little bit about the, uh, foul real quick before I get into what I really want to talk about, um, I was watching a, um, a Black Ops 2 weapon guide, uh, and I don't I, I don't mean to name drop here or anything, but I'm gonna do so anyway. I was watching a uh, a Black Ops 2 weapon guide from uh, Xbox Ahoy, and he did a weapon guide on the Foul OSW. So and I, I figured, okay, um, I, I was I was uh, consider doing I was considering um, you know trying out the the Foul a little bit more, seeing you know what type of uh, attachments he would recommend. And so, in, in uh, about 30 seconds in, he calls this gun the right arm of the free world. And I turn on this guy right here. Foul still overpowered, even with the supposed nerf to select fire. Um, 30 seconds in, he, he, he says this nick the, the, the nickname of this gun is the right arm of the free world. And I thought, hmm, that's, that's, uh, that's a pretty interesting nickname. And Right there, I should have had the kill, um, but of course, three hit markers with a foul turns into nothing. He gets a one shot with a KSG. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, um, so supposedly, supposedly the reason behind the nickname for this foul for this weapon is called the right arm of the free world, is because this gun was supposedly a, a widespread used gun by NATO countries during the Cold War. Except for the U.S. You know, the U.S. was probably one of the only few uh, NATO countries that didn't, uh, that didn't formally adopt this weapon. Um, this weapon is, was made in Belgium, I believe, if I uh, recall correctly. Um, so I, I, I thought that was kind of cool. I thought that was kind of neat. And I sized... <laughs> I don't know how I sidestepped that dude, that uh, knifer guy, but um, I did. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, the foul, the foul itself is is still a top assault rifle in its class. Um, it's still it's still a high damage weapon. If you put slight fire on it, it's still it's still going to do some work. Uh, not like the SMR, uh, which is is kind of unusable with slight fire now because of the. Um, the nerf to select fire, uh, I think it was like a month ago. So I'm using, uh, as far as perks, uh, Ghost, Hardline, Toughness, and Tactical Mask, of course, primary gunfire, because I'm using Grip, Select Fire, and Stock. I, I don't know what it is about people being so, I don't want to say anal about the Grip attachment, but I think it does work to some degree. Um, may not work, you know, all the time, excuse me, all the time, but um, it does work. It does work, and it will save your life, and I pick up this dude's, I didn't like that LS, uh, that QBB LSW with target finder on it, so um, I pick up this dude's Type 25 with with grip and a target finder on it, so I figured I'd just use this MSMC with, uh, it looks like it has a laser sight, suppressor, and... I have a third attachment. Yes, fast mag. So, also did some work with this with this gun too. So, um, what else want to talk about? I talked about the, the foul a little bit. Talked about you know um, its history, its origin, why it got its nickname. Um, I guess we'll just talk about a little bit about cargo itself. Um, Cargo is a map that, when the game first came out, I legitimately did not like. I thought this was a camper-friendly map, which it, it 
It still is. There's still that one building that um, people like to hide in, the one behind me. Um, but um, if you can avoid that area, I mean, you should be fine. Um, and I don't, I don't use the hunter killer as much anymore um, as I used to. I, I would use it for like you know early levels if I'm prestiging. I don't know how that guy. I, I don't know where that guy came from. Maybe he spawned right there behind me. But um, yeah, the the, the 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 map itself is is still an okay map. I don't mind it. I would definitely take it over, you know, drone. Uh, not uh, I definitely take it over drone. Definitely would take it over turbine. Um, definitely would take it over carrier. So um, I would say probably my top five maps in this game are, of course, the three ones you you know so much um, before. And I got the Brutal Medal, and me being a dumbass, I decided to throw it out in the open, my 100 kilo drone, out in the open, and uh, I paid the price for it. So, I could have had a nuclear in this game, uh, yeah, I could have had a nuclear in this gameplay here, but I, of course, I decided to be a dumbass. <laughs> I'll admit, at times, I can play like a bit of a, uh, an idiot, I'm not going to lie, as much as this game annoys me, some of the some of the deaths that I have are part of part of them. It's my fault, so I'll be the first to admit. But um, t my top three maps are definitely the uh, top five maps. Three of them are obviously raid, standoff, and slums. Those are probably the, the three top maps you will hear people say. Um, and right here, I got kind of lucky because um, I was not reading the radar, and my teammate actually saves my my ass from. Um, across the way. No, normally, I, I have better uh, map awareness than that, so um, I felt kind of ashamed there that I would um, not even take out that guy I, myself. But raid standoff slums are my uh, top three maps, followed by followed by express. I'm starting. To, I'm starting to like express a lot more, especially for close quarters combat, because I think if you stick to that that middle area, you, you, you'll be fine. Um, and um, where else? What else? What's another map that I'm starting to enjoy? Yemen. I'm starting to enjoy Yemen quite a bit. Um, Yemen is one of those maps that I uh, like cargo. I didn't like at first because it was too campy, campy friendly. Uh, it had too many buildings and whatnot, so um, yeah, so this gameplay is winding down here. Like I said, this uh, the right arm of the free world does not lie. It is a pretty damn good gun. Still a pretty damn good gun, even six months into the game. Anyway, final score is 136. Final score for me is 55 and 5 with 45 confirms and 4 denies. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. Until next time, Super Yankee for Life, signing off. Peace.